What fraction of the shape is shaded in? What's shaded in is one out of the five parts, or a fifth. This shape represents a whole. What would one fifth of a whole equal to? A better question is, how do we find one fifth of a number? It's the same as saying, what number can we add to itself five times to give us the number we are looking for? We would have to divide our number by five. In this case, one divided by five. So, a fraction can represent a division. One out of five is the same as saying one divided by five, which equals to 0 0.2. How about three quarters? Three quarters represents the calculation three divided by four, which is equal to 0 0.05. The division symbol is a clue for this. The symbol is a fraction. What does one divided by three equal? Using the bus stop method, we see how many threes go into one. Three is too big, so zero threes fit into one. The one gets carried over to the next place value after the units, which is the tenths. The one combines with the placeholder zero to represent 10. Now we check how many threes fit into 10. We would have three with a remainder of one. The one gets carried over to the next placeholder. How many threes fit into 10 again? Three remaining one. The one gets carried over to the next placeholder. If we were to continue this, we would always get the remainder of 1, and the answer will always have the same decimal value forever. When we have a decimal repeating, we call this a recurring decimal. Writing a lot of repeating decimals would waste a lot of paper, so instead mathematicians have come up with a technique to show this. The way we represent a recurring decimal is by putting a dot above the recurring decimal number. How about this recurring decimal? How can we simplify how this is written? Pause and have a quick think. The answer would be 0 0.15 with the recurring dot above the 1 and 5, as they are the repeating decimals. How about this number? Well, we ask ourselves what is repeating in the decimals. 357 is repeating, so we write the decimal as 4.357 with a dot above the 3 and the 7 only. The reason we don't place a dot above the 5 is because the repeating decimal starts at 3 and ends at 7. Last one. What about this value? Like in the previous question, the decimals that are repeating are 1, 4, 2, 8, 5, 7. So we place a dot above the start and the end of the repeating values.